Sous le ciel de Paris s'envole une chanson Elle est née d'aujourd'hui dans le cœur d'un garçon Sous le ciel de Paris marche des amoureux Army recognition is the official news online for Eurostat 3 2024. And during five days, follow us to see the latest news and the latest videos. The product uh, which uh, KNDS France Robotics is presenting is the Centurio range of products. Centurio is a product which is issued uh, from the partnership with Sogeclair. We are very proud to present it today. So this product is basically um, a wheel platform with, equipped with a thermal engine which can be equipped with all kinds of equipments. So now today we are presenting the version uh, which is equipped with an ARX-20, a 20 mm gun which has uh, the possibility of firing 20 by 105 uh, mm ammunition and the, the Pioneer version which is equipped with a manipulator arm which is dedicated to open roads and to dig into roads and to manipulate potential IEDs. This is a product which are targeting mainly at first the French program which is called Robin. The main features of the product are the following. This platform can go up to 50 km on the remote controller operation uh, capabilities. It's a, it is equipped with a thermal engine uh, which gives a very high torque and high uh, forging capabilities. Uh, this is uh, as well, the platform is equipped with uh, high uh, long range capabilities to remote control it and all kinds of features in terms of cyber protection, cyber security and uh, as well as uh, very good capabilities in terms of uh, long, in terms of ranging, in terms of mission to go on the long distance. We are presenting as well today Ultro uh, in the two versions, Ultro 600, which is equipped with the uh, logistic tray, which is able to, uh, to carry up to 600 kilograms. It has so two side panels, which enables, first of all, to easily load all kinds of uh, payloads. And as well as those trays can be used to remove the platform from any sandy grounds as well. So this is dedicated for logistics. Uh, there is as well some autonomous capabilities uh, features on it, equipped with a 3D modeling system, but also capabilities to follow pedestrian, to follow vehicles too. It's as well equipped with anti-flattening system, which is uh, equipped with the Michelin wheels, types of wheel, and with this you can tackle all kinds of terrains. We do have as well this version, which is equipped with a telescopic mask, enabling to uh, perform observation, forward observation mission for all kinds of artillery system. Those platforms, like Centurio, can be equipped with all kinds of accessories, like small machine guns, uh, anti-drone systems, laser guns, etc., etc. Uh, so here we are presenting uh, two guns, Ascalon 120 and Ascalon 140, in two separate uh, visions of MBT, the Leclerc Revolution, and the EMBT with ADT-140. So the goal of Ascalon is to propose a solution for the future of MBT guns. Uh, the idea is to go uh, with more muzzle energy, to treat uh, harder uh, and defeat harder uh, targets. So we are aiming for 18 to 20 megajoules uh, muzzle energy which is much higher than what we can do with uh, the 120. Uh, Ascalon is also a modular gun uh, that can evolve, that we can scale. So uh, it can be either a 140 or a 120 millimeter. The 140 fires uh, special ammunition. The 140 fires normal uh, NATO 120 ammunition. And the difference between the two guns is just the barrel. So it's easy to make a change from one configuration to the other in less than one hour. It just takes a change of the barrel. This is a Leclerc chassis, this is a Leopard chassis. This is an unmanned turret, a fully remote controlled, and this is a manned turret, 
with two people in the turret, so the gun can do both uh, configurations. Let me introduce myself. I'm Eric Bonzozek. I'm uh, responsible for the program of the Caesar MK2 for the French Army and Belgium Army. So just behind me, you can see the Caesar MK2, which had a vocation to replace the Caesar MK1, which is currently in service in two forces. So the main differences on the, the system compared to, to the first version is mainly on the mobility. So we have a new chassis with a new engine. We double the horsepower of the engine. We have an automatic gearbox. And uh, at the back of the system, it's exactly the same compared to the Caesar uh, that we have currently in two forces. On this version, we have a cabin fully protected against ballistics and mine protected. We are better in the cabin because we have more glasses compared to the old version. And also it did prove a little bit the uh, come into action and come uh, out of action on the field. This is the same cannon as the previous, previous version. And we have also the, it's a very good cannon with a very, very good precision. Reasons why we keep that, the, that cannon on this version. Our MK2 is the same loading system compared to the MK1. And this is a 155mm uh, 52 caliber, as per the first one. Good morning. Uh, indeed, uh, there are quite a few differences between the two versions. 8x8, you can load uh, 36 ammunition versus 18 ammunition on the 6x6. You have a crew of four people on the 8x8 and uh, five people on the 6x6. The mobility is increased. You have uh, some uh, better off-road uh, performances uh, between the Caesar uh, 6x6 Mark I and the Caesar 8x8. It is a semi-automatic system on this version. You have uh, the, the, I mean, the shells that are automatically uh, loaded uh, in, inside the barrel and uh, the charges, they are semi-automatically um, uh, loaded inside the barrel. The Caesar Mark II uh, 6x6, uh, which is uh, at the moment uh, being uh, produced uh, and will be delivered next year uh, to the French uh, and the Belgium artillery, as, as well as the Lithuanian artillery, it's also uh, very uh, armored, uh, the cabin. That won't be a, a big difference between the two versions anymore. My name is Dejan, I'm the Chief Operations Officer of the company Strix E Motorbikes and as the name suggests we develop electric, electric motorbikes. Specifically this one uh, is uh, the most powerful electric motorbike that is uh, available on the market right now with almost 100 uh, horsepower. It is hard enduro. We already have a NATO stock number for this uh, motorbike, which means that it's already in service in uh, different um, NATO uh, armies. We make our own nickel mangan cobalt technology battery, inverter and electric motor. Also the frame is made in Slovenia. What we see here is pre-production motorbikes. We start with production, serial production uh, as we speak. Uh, and the first motorbikes will be available in October uh, this year. They will be more defense military grade, but also we will enter civilian uh, market with these motorbikes. We decided to showcase it in the, in the brackets because what we have here is uh, Oshkosh JLTV, a recon vehicle which has 18 kilowatt generator in the back and you can charge our uh, motorbike via this generator. The bike is probably the only off-road motorbike at the moment that has hardware and software developed for fast charging, CCS standard, which means you can charge this uh, motorbike in less than 50 minutes, 15 minutes from 20 to uh, 100%. Our goal is to be present, like in global market. Uh, Slovenia obviously is a very small country, a very small market, but with uh, very good, very well established uh, engineering. What we are doing now is entering uh, USA market and also different uh, European markets, such as uh, Scandinavia, Denmark, uh, Finland, Norway and Sweden. Uh, we are also present in Spain, Italy, hopefully Romania. The goal is to be present in USA and the whole uh, throughout uh, Europe. We are working with different uh, distributors, one for the civilian market and 
another one for uh, for defense uh, market. from Paradigm Shift Technologies. We are a Toronto-based Canada company. We have been around for over 30 years now. And one of our primary products is elimination of hazardous materials from various systems and components, specifically including weapon systems. So the technology that we developed is called EPVD, Enhanced Physical Vapor Deposition. This technology has been in the works for the last 25 years. And what we were able to do is to create a product that completely eliminates hazardous hexavalent chromium that's been used for over a century on all gun barrel systems and replace it with an environmentally friendly material that not only gets complete rid of hazardous waste and danger to environment, but it also improves performance of weapon systems. It's a process that have been, uh, has been extensively tested by various government organizations and private OEMs, demonstrating more than two times improvement in barrel life, as well as accuracy of the weapon system. Now, what's interesting about weapon systems is because of the war happening in uh, Eastern Europe, where weapon systems that include gun barrels fail very, very quickly. In fact, some of the weapon systems require 10 to 15 barrels per weapon system in order for Ukrainian forces to sustain fire. As recently as last night, we have signed a memorandum of understanding to create a strategic partnership with a Ukrainian company where we're going to manufacture together with them uh, artillery barrels in Ukraine for Ukrainian forces utilizing our expertise and our coating technology. So this is going to be aligned with the agenda of creating an industrial base in Ukraine and equipping them with the most advanced technology that exists today in the world. Reducing the number of rounds that have to be fired in order to acquire the target. So we are also saving on the ammunition number which is definitely making a huge, huge impact on already overloaded industry that, that is producing ammunition. 